more here. information did the president get on China trade this morning? He said he got new information that the Chinese are coming here to cut a deal. How's he know that? Look, we've got an indication that they want to make a deal. Uh, our teams are in continued negotiations. They're going to sit down tomorrow, and we'll see what happens from there. Sarah, 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 Mueller, Sarah if the Mueller report fully exonerates the president, as he suggests, why doesn't he want Congress to see the entire thing? Uh, look, I think it's so absurd, this idea that Congress doesn't get to see uh, the Mueller report. In fact, there's a less redacted version of the Mueller report sitting there waiting on them to come and look at it. Not a single, not a single Democrat has even taken the time to go and look at it. They're asking for information they know they can't have. The attorney general is actually upholding the law. Chairman Nadler, take a minute to let this sink in. Chairman Nadler is asking the Attorney General of the United States to break the law and commit a crime by releasing information that he knows he has no legal authority to have. Uh, it's truly outrageous and absurd what the chairman is doing, and he should be embarrassed that he's behaving this Sarah, way. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Chairman Ziegler says... Chair we North, we I'm sorry? Is the United States heading to a war with Iran? I certainly hope not, uh, but the president is um, going to remain firm on our position, and um, I don't think anybody is looking for any type of war with anybody. Sarah, Chair Sarah, Sarah Chairman, Chairman Nadler says that the White House already waived executive privilege. He said the moment they revealed documents to Mueller, they waived the privilege. That's black letter law. So how is the White House still claiming You would think for an privilege? attorney, Chairman Nadler would be a little bit more uh, up on the law. I'm not, and I actually feel like I understand it better than he does. The Attorney General uh, is protecting information, grand jury information, confidential information that he cannot release. Um, the fact that the chairman knows that and continues to ignore it is absolutely absurd. Let's not forget, this is the same guy who was too afraid to ask the attorney general questions himself. If he can't do his job and he can't uh, understand the basic rule of law and uphold it, then he shouldn't be in the position he's in. Going to exert executive privilege over the Mueller report, does he still plan to declassify the FISA warrants and the 302s like he said he's going to do? And if so, when? Uh, certainly something that the president is looking into doing and we'll keep you posted on the time frame. More on that, just a follow up on that. Is there any indication that the president would not like to see Mueller testify now that executive privilege has been asserted? And is there any indication that Mueller might be asked to stay on and not leave in the next few days because of the assertion of executive privilege? I'm not aware of any requests like that. Uh, the president's made his feeling on that very clear. The way that we see this is that this is over. And um, just because the Democrats didn't like the results doesn't mean they get to redo uh, this process. We've spent two years, millions of taxpayer dollars, submitted millions of pages in documents, been fully cooperative, hundreds of hours of testimony, and Bob Mueller came back and said there was no collusion. If Bob Mueller couldn't find it, I am 100% sure that Jerry Nadler is not going to find anything that Bob Mueller couldn't. He can't even handle asking the attorney general questions. Do we really think he could handle something like this? I think the answer is no. Sarah, is the president okay with South Korea sending food aid to North Korea when there appear to be new provocations again from Pyongyang? Uh, our position uh, in regards to North Korea uh, is going to continue to be the maximum pressure campaign. Our focus is on the denuclearization if South Korea moves forward on that front. We're not going to intervene. Sir, the president is quite good in predicting national elections all across the world. Right now, India is having this. He's quite good at predicting a lot of things. Yeah. So, what is his take on India's election? He is the world president of the world's oldest democracy, world's largest democracy, is having its election right now. Uh, I haven't spoken to him about that specific uh, election, but if I get something on it, I'll certainly let you know. Let's so the White House still respect congressional oversight. Chairman Nadler says this is the end of congressional oversight. Well, that's because Chairman Nadler is again trying to violate the law. The president and the attorney general general are the ones that are actually upholding it. And as long as Congress and this committee continue to ask the attorney general to commit a crime, the president and the attorney general will continue to actually uphold the law. Chan, I'll take last question. Uh, we'll let you know we have an announcement on that front.
say that the president, by exerting executive privilege, is now plunging the country into a constitutional crisis. Is that hyperbole? What do you make of that? Uh, I make of that that people don't understand the precedent that has been set. This is fully uh, consistent with that precedent, and it's fully consistent with the president actually upholding the law. If anybody is overstepping, uh, that would be Chairman Nadler and his committee. Thanks, guys. Colorado, 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 Sarah, Sarah, the thoughts from the White House on camera about the Colorado shooting.